So we'll talk about users, right? Users are the people who are logging into Salesforce. So there can be different kinds of users, right? User types. What do you mean by user types? User types means different kind of users can like work for that organization who's who are doing different work. So they do not need access for the same areas of Salesforce. They can work for different areas of Salesforce. For example, the system administrator is one type of user. Then a person who is working in sales department is another sales type of user. Then a person who is working in service department is another type of user. The permission of system administrator need not be similar to sales, need not be similar to service, because these are different kind of users who are using different kinds of areas of Salesforce, right? So Salesforce has given, given something called profiles. What is profiles? Profile is basically user type and a, a collection of permissions. Okay. This allows you for allows that user to do whatever they want to do in Salesforce, right? Only limited to that, nothing else. Who can create these profiles? By default, Salesforce provides standard profiles, which you can assign to people. You mean system administrator can do this job. You can create a new user and you can assign a profile. Whenever you create a new user, you have to assign a profile. Profile is mandatory for every user which you create in Salesforce. That means the basic permissions has to be given to them. Then only they can work in Salesforce. That's why. Okay. So all the users are created by system administrator. The system administrator user is created by Salesforce. Clear? So when a new org is created, Salesforce will create the first user, first system administrator, and then system administrator of that organization will create all other users. When all other users are created, system administrator create can create another system administrator or system administrator. That is your job, basically. You are the system administrator. You can create on other users and you can assign sales users, you can assign service users, whatever you want, right? So profile is a set of permissions. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. Apart from profiles, we also have something called permission sets. Permission sets. Permission sets is also a group of or set up profile, uh, permissions. Okay. So if I already have my permissions that I can assign in profiles, why do I need a permission set? Because profile can only be one for a user. Permission sets can be multiple. Right. So think about a salesman and a sales manager. A sales manager, manager has a little more permission than a salesman. What options do you have? You can create two different uh, profiles. One is a sales a sales uh, sales representative profile. You can create another profile called sales manager, profile. and you can give different permissions for different things. And we'll see what permissions we give to different things. And then you can assign that to people, two sets of people. But the same thing can be achieved where sales manager and sales uh, sales uh, uh, representative both have a one profile that is called sales sales profile and the sales manager has a additional permission set that means a permission set for a user makes a user's permission so user's permission is profile plus permission set one plus permission set two and so on the combination of per all permission sets plus the basic profile which that user has okay that is the total permission any user can have any questions okay so now we'll talk about three circles What is this permissions we were talking about? Yeah. Mainly the permissions are related to objects. 
what kind of different permissions can be possible in an object? First and foremost, think about a table when you talk, think about objects, right? So let's talk about this table. The first permission is, can I see this table, right? Can I see this table, right? So object permission can be, what are what are what are the different operations that you can do on an object? The create operation. Create. Create, read, edit, and delete. Create, read, edit, edit. So four operations that you can do in a table, right? So so first level access is basically OLS. That means object level security on the total table. Can I create new records? Can I read existing records? Can I edit existing records? Can I delete existing records? Please remember, these permissions are only applicable, or these, rec these permissions are only applicable for, for any record that is owned by that user. It is very critical. These permissions, object level security permissions, are not applicable for the records which you do not own. Owner's permission, this is okay. Object level security. Clear? That is called a table level permission. So, can you create a new record? Can you read your own record? Can you edit your own record? Can you delete your own record? Right? These are the four permissions that you can provide which is called object level security. That is the first outside, outside circle. Why these three circles? Because if you do not have this level permission, even if I assign it, the, assign this permission, for, uh, this level permission to you, it is of no use. Clear? Then third level is same. If you do not have the second level permission, the third level permission is of no use. Okay, we'll go to that. How do we assign OLS? That means object level security or object level permission. How do I assign? I use a profile. I can define this in profile or permission set. Okay. In the profile or permission set, we can see, we I will show see that. Okay. Where the permissions are there. So let's let's jump into Salesforce and see this. So all permissions, profiles, assignment, everything. So when you are creating a new user, there is a user tab. In developer or edition, you can only create one more user, just one user. OK? So if you can create one another user. You create a new user. You can put first name, last name, alias. You need a unique email ID. Uh, username can be the email ID or email ID plus dot something you can add. Usually, I will sub there. Okay. User license is critical. This has to be Salesforce. Ignore the other things. We are not discussing what are these. These are different products of Salesforce, uh, but we don't care. We will only talk about Salesforce first. You see, these are the profiles which you can assign to different kinds of users. right? Many of them are standard, like system administrator, standard user, solution. These are standard, and these are custom profiles. Anything which starts with custom colon will be a custom profile. Usually, we always create a custom profile and then assign it. System administrators will normally be normal system administrators. But how do we create a custom profile? You will go to standard user. Clone this profile. And you say my standard.
So this will copy all the permissions which is there already in this profile. And so you see, there are so many permissions, right? There are two views. One view is this one, wherein one one page, one page layout. Uh, you, there is another view also, which is quite similar to how permission sets are viewed. If you go to permission set, this is categorized already. You see, these are different categories in permission set. So, but if you want to see this kind of a view you, uh, of profile, that is also you can do. So, what you have to do, you have to go to user. interface and I forgot where it is. Let me check it. Enhanced profile view I keep on changing this. It's very difficult to remember. Yeah, user management settings. So copy this. user management settings here you can activate this enhanced profile list view enhanced profile user interface if you switch it on now you go to profiles we created a new profile like my standard this will now one page will be broken down this will now be categorized. It is easier to read and find what you need, right? This the mod modern. So this is what permission we are talking about, object settings, right? There are other, other permissions also which you can assign in a profile. Yeah, we'll not discuss those. Today we'll talk about object level permissions. So OLS, how is OLS defined here? Every object of Salesforce is now listed here. And if you go to any object like account object, let's talk about account object. You will see these are the four permissions which we were talking about. Edit. And you have read, create, edit, delete. Very important if I switch the read off, all the permissions goes out then you do not have OLS. That means this table does not exist for you or this object is not visible to you. Even if other people can see and like use that object, it is almost like it does not exist for you, for your user, okay? So first level, basic permission is read. That has to be given. Otherwise, anything else is not possible. If you just create, like, give a create permission, read is automatically given. If you give an edit permission, read is also automatically given. If you give a delete permission, edit and read both are automatically given. So it is very important that you extend like this one, two, three. Okay. So that's how it works. So there are four, four permissions on an object. Please remember all of these are applicable for your owned records. That means any record which is owned by you, which is owner. Owner is the person who is here on that owner field. This is the account owner. So only this person, this is the person who can edit it if the permissions is given to that. If that person does not have edit permission, then they cannot edit their own, own record also. Okay. Ownership does not mean that he will be able to do everything. The profile of that person this defines that he can do anything on his own record or not okay clear any questions now let us go to the next level
The next level is the field level security. FLS, field level security. That means the individual columns of this table, right? You can create records. These permissions are all related to records. Okay. This is not related to changing the table or creating a fields. You can only change the table if you have system administrator privileges. Simple. Okay. Anything else, any other user cannot do anything on the table. Okay. So we are not discussing this table level security. We are discussing record security here. Okay. What is inside that table? So what is FLS mean? FLS means you can create, record, edit, or delete, where whatever is there defined in the outer layer. Now, the table is visible to you. So you know that there is a table which exists because you minimum permission which you can define in OLS is read. If you define a read, that means that table exists for that user. He can see that records, whether they can create new records or edit their existing records or delete that, that is defined by the other permissions. That's fine. Read, 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 read permission is read only access. When you give create, edit, or delete, then that you are given right access on that table. Okay. Now, field level security <laughs> means out of the all the columns of that object or all the fields of that object, how many of these fields are visible to you? And if that field is visible, is it editable to you or not? So even if you have edit permission on that table for your records, does not mean that you will be able to edit all the fields. There can be some fields which is not editable for you. OK? There can be some fields which is not even visible for you. So system administrator can, some, can hide some fields of that same table, even if you have a record owned by you. Any questions so far? So field level security is a data restriction. That's why it is inside the first subject. So you can define which fields a person can see and which fields the person can edit. OK? And this is greater restriction after the first layer restriction. First level restriction is overall on the table. Now we're going deeper. We are giving access for each individual field. Where is it defined? Again, on the profile and permission set. Let's see that. Sorry. Yeah. So we are on the profile. Now, if we edit this again, down below, here is the field permissions. So you see, you have read access and you have edit access. So that you can see that field. And if you can see that field, can you edit that field? Right? So what you can say that, I will allow this person to see this field, but I will not allow him to edit that field. Right? Just like in a, a employee record, only HR should be able to change their salaries. So that's a restricted field. So you will probably make it read only field only because only HR people will be able to modify that values. Yeah. So that is a typical business case where in this you will be using this. So you can, if you take out the visibility, then edit, edit, edit permission also goes away. Okay? Makes no sense. But you can give visible permission and editable permission. First permission is basically read read access and then edit access. Yeah, here only two accesses are there. Outer layer, we have four accesses. Inside, in, in the field level, we have just read and edit. Clear? Any questions? <coughs> OK, so this is the second level access we have talked about. Now, what is the third level access? So we are now speaking 
about the third level access. Yeah. Are you able to see my screen? No, sir. No, sir. No, it's fine. Okay. <coughs> Third is called record level security or LS. What does it mean? This is basically a row level access. Now we are talking about rows. What is row level access? Row level access, record level security is only applicable, which is what kind of security do you have for record not owned by you? For records which is owned by you, you already have OLS. Yes. This defines what you can do on the records that is not owned by you. Clear? Records not owned by you means a record exists, right? Uh, somebody else owns it. Okay. So now let let us uh, let us see that how it works. So this is basically how it is defined. It is defined by a concept called. O W D. You will hear this word again and again. So it's called org wide defaults. Every object will have an org wide default. What are the possible options? Private. Please remember this is not done by profiles or permissions. Set. Okay. This is done by O W D. Record level security is given by O W D. O W D only. There is another way out. Okay. Please remember this interview question. Private. What are the options available? Private, public, read only, public, read write, and control by pen. There are some other options for some objects, but broadly, these are the categories. Private means <coughs> a non owner is not able to see that record. Clear. Only the owner can see their records. Simple. Okay. So if in a in a in a in an organization there is a requirement that two users cannot see each other's records. Straight away, the only way to implement it is oh, making the OWD as private. There is no other way of doing it. You cannot restrict uh, records by seeing it through any other mechanism. You have to set OWD as private. OK? And then you can open it up for other users. That is a different story. But if we are a minimum, there is a restriction of visibility, straight away OWD private. Yeah? Now, second level is public read only. That means people can see each other's record, but they cannot edit each other's record. That means only the owner can edit their records. Non-owner cannot edit their records. Correct? Non-owner does not have a privilege of editing, but non-owners can see. OK? That means everybody can see everybody's record. Only the owner can edit it. Clear? That is also possible. Third level is public read write. That means there is no restrictions. Everybody can edit everybody's record. Clear? Fourth is control by parent. Control by parent is only for specific set, sets of uh, objects. Not every object will have it. Which kind of object will have it? Any object standard object like contact 
or there are some objects which we'll show see that is controlled by parent you can set that as controlled by parent what is controlled by parent controlled by parent means uh, whatever access is there on that account automatically is the access for your for that records that means it has a parent so parent record record access will define the child record access if the parent is private child is private parent is public read only child is public read only if parent is parent is public read right child is also public <clears throat> okay you can that is controlled by parent is automatically non changeable for master detail child child object master detail child objects automatically have control by parent and they only have control by parent that is the reason the master detail child object does not have a owner field is it clear now why the owner field was vanishing when we used to create a master detail field on any custom object because the owner field is the field which defines this security and the master detail object all the records are always controlled by parent that's why the owner field is not there because the owner of the parent record is also the owner of the child records clear if a parent and child has different kind of settings need to be have a different kind of a setting like even if i see the parent i might not be able to see the child records in that case it cannot be a master detail it should always be a lookup relationship then only you will have owners and you will also have a owd specific to that object any questions so far let's see the owd in action So a OWD is there in sharing circuits. Here, every object will have its internal access. So what is internal access? This is exactly what we're talking about. Forget the external access. This is for communities. We are not too worried here in our class right now. So we'll see account, you see, private, read-only, read write Contact, you will see all the four options. You see, public read only because account does not have a parent, right? So that's why it is controlled by parent is only applicable for contact. If you have a master detail object, master detail child object, it will not show up here because it's automatically controlled by the parent. Okay. So usually you will have these three options private, read only. Yeah. It is one thing to remember that it is inside a circle, third level circle. That means a person who does not have OLS access, that means profile level access is not there. They cannot have additional privileges inside. Okay. So let's see. What does it mean? What you can cannot do with your own records, you cannot do with others' records. Okay. So remember this way. It's easier to understand. So let, let's see. So we'll come back to this circle once again. So record level security is inside OLS, right? So what every user will have the profiles. So permissions of profiles cannot be bypassed or overridden by RLS. If you are giving additional privileges here, it does not matter because if you do not have profile permissions, you cannot work. So let, let's see some examples. I have user one and user two. User one is a owner of a record. And user two is not a owner of the record. Both of these people 
have a profile, same profile. Profile A. Okay. Now let us give permissions one by one. I have given read permission on the profile for object A, object 1. And in OWD is set to private. These are the four basic permissions. Let's see now. Can a owner create a record on this object? No, sir. No, sir. Why? Only read access will be given. Only read access is given. So you cannot. This user, uh, so he can read, of course, that his access is given. Yes. So existing records, he can see. Can he edit his own records? No, sir. No, sir. Can I delete his other records? No, no sir. sir. What about user two? Can he delete user one's record? Uh, sorry, can he create records for user one? No, sir. He can see? No, sir. No, sir. Why? Private. OW is set to private. That means he cannot see. He cannot edit because no, the sir. Season, he cannot delete because the profile does not allow that, right? Yes. Now let's see. I am giving a read access. How what changes will happen? Can he edit the one user yes. one? Yes. He can edit. Can user two edit? User one. No. Sir. No. Because he cannot see it even, right? Yeah. Yes. But user one can delete it. Huh? User one can delete it, sir. No. It, it, no, he it, can't delete it. He cannot delete it. Delete permission is not Sorry? If the edit access given, then the delete uh, access will be automatically given. No. No. If delete access is given, then edit access is automatically given. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. So now I am giving delete permission. What will happen? Only this delete yeah. permission yeah. is in our User 2 can't even see user 1's record, right? It's set to private. Yes. Now I give a create permission. What will happen? Everything is. So they, they can also create. So owners can create their records. Owners can read their records. Owners can edit their records. Owners can delete their records. Non-owners cannot do anything. Yes. Even if they have the same profile. Clear? Clear. Now let us upgrade the OWD. Now, OWD is set to public read only. Okay. Yeah. And I will give read permission again. We'll not start with the read. Okay. Let's start, start with the same thing. It's fun. It's like calculations. Okay. Let's start again. We'll give start only read permissions. So, uh, profiles have only read permission. What will happen? No, create. Same, right? Did it only no. read. Yeah. What about the non profile? Create no read. Yes. Read no. yes. Edit no. Delete no. 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 So now user two can see users one's record. Yes. Clear. Now let us give edit privileges. What changes will happen? Only edit is available for user one. Read and edit. Absolutely. So why not for a user two? Because oh, it's read a read-only permission. That's correct. So this is restricting in OWD, inside circle. So only owners can edit, but non-owners uh, non -owners can see, but non-owners cannot edit. Right? What will happen with D? No user or no can delete it. This person can delete it, right? Yes, sir. And when I get create, this person can create, create it. it. Right? So non owners can only read. That's it. Yes. Write permission is not enabled for this kind of people. So let's now again upgrade this to 
पब्लिक फीडबैक स्टार्ट में रीड बोलो रीड ऑन यूजर ऑन कैन ओनली यू रीड ऑन कैन रीड सर रीड ऑन ऑनली रीड यूजर टू ओनली रीड ऑन कैन रीड यस नॉट पॉसिबल राइट यस नाउ आई गेट एविट प्रिविलेजेस व्हाट विल हैपन यूजर ऑन कैन रीड बोथ ऑफ देम कैन रीड यूजर यूजर टू कैन रीड सर यूजर टू कैन आल्सो रीड now it is read, read write okay yes sir same with delete right yes yes sir not really delete cannot be have there are some objects which only allows owners to delete only okay so this is delete has a cap usually you can but barring some records like case case object will not allow you to delete okay so there are some exceptions on delete okay Okay. Now, what about the create? Same story. You can create. Clear. So, how to remember this whole game? It's very easy. So, profile for permission sets. All permission sets. Like n means n number of permission sets. And O W D. whatever is more restrictive wins right more restriction wins that means if here you have restriction then this will apply this will apply if there you have restrictions this will apply okay easy is it stuff so single users permission will be defined by whatever is more restricted option if you are restricted outside you cannot have more ex more access inside if you are if you are, if you have rest no restriction outside but inside it is actually restricted then of course you are restricted right clear so like you do not have right permission edit it here but you have right permission here does not matter you will not have right permission clear easy easy solution to remember this one. so owd is set to private but system administrator usually see every data right so they are somehow bypassing all all permissions system administrator has to see all that and they owd is set to to what because so system administrator are basically support people who help other people so system administrator has to have access to all data so owd should not be applicable for them owd whatever is set as owd can be applicable for users but non users uh, sorry can be can be applicable for normal users but for system administrator by the way they would do their job it is not possible for them to not have access to all data so what is done how do i bypass owd owd can be bypassed for specific users just just like system administrator has to a permission again this permission is available in profile for permission sets so you can assign this profile or permission sets to anybody you can create a new permission set and you can do that we will see that particularly in in the profiles we created a standard file and we will go to the object settings even so in account uh, account if i set account owd as private then you cannot see other record right but i can make the other record available for your profile if i switch on view all view all means it will bypass owd setting you can see everybody's record 
modify all means you can see everybody's record you can edit also if you see the system administrator profile you will see that this die has you all modify all for all of these that is why this administrator can see everybody's record even if the OW is set to private. So you can give any other profile also the whole access of that object and bypass OWD for that person. Like HR for an employee record. Probably you will give view all modifier or view all permission, right? Whatever. So it is important for their work function. So some departments or some department users may have view all modifier. Please remember. View all and modify all is not conditional. So if you give view all and modify all access, automatically all records of the table is available to that user. It is not conditional. You cannot restrict a few records inside the table. So this is called view all modify all. This is bypass OWD. Now o OWD needs to be restricted. Profile and permissions, uh, profiles. Uh, so this view all modifier all can be also given using permission set. So let's see how permission sets are created. You can have existing permission set standards, or you can create your own, no problem. So you can clone existing permission set, or you can do a brand new one. Usually brand new ones are created. Fine. Permission set. Here again, I can define object for executor. So I will, on the account, I will go and I want to give a specific user view all and modify all. Right? So this is the permissions I have to give. And I save it. So this permission set can now be assigned to a user. How? I will go to this user. And <laughs> like an integration user. I will go to this user. Down below, you have permission set assignment. I will edit this. And I will give this my my permission set. Anyway, so I have to have another user. I can assign this. Let me assign this to my users. I have any all permissions myself, so I don't need this permission set. But a user, user's whole permissions, all the permissions of a user is basically all the permissions inside a profile plus all the permissions in their permission sets. Okay. So you can have like a read permission of an object in this profile, but you can give create and edit permission in a permission set. Then that people can have additional permissions, right? So you can have a sales profile. So normal people, normal sales people can have uh, sales read access, but for managers, you can create a permission set. So both the manager and the representative, sales representative and sales manager can have the same profile, but the manager has a additional permission using a permission set. It is always a good practice to give per new permissions, additional permissions using permission set rather than creating new profiles. So avoid creating new profiles as much as possible. Try to create additional permissions for people using permission sets. That's the best practice of service. Yeah. Keep the profiles as, as minimum as possible. OK. So now this is what it is. Uh, we have defined the permissions inside profiles. We have designed permissions inside permission sets. We have also seen how OWD is set and how OWD is bypassed using profiles or permission sets. But what if you want to give conditional profile, some conditional record access? That means record level OWD set to private, but a few records. I want to share or I want to 
show to some people who are by default not seeing it, right? Because they are not owners. But I want to show my records to some other people, probably because I am working with these people. They are helping me out on my sales process and everything. Whatever my functions are, I want to show my records to somebody else. That means own people who, and I have to control it, like who I can show. And I can only show my records or yeah, special situations. It is a conditional. It is not, I'm that person is not seeing everybody's record. Okay. It's only specific situations, specific people's record, or any specific criteria of records, right? How do I all make a record visibility or record access security conditional? Right? So I will not use view all or edit all because if I use view all or edit all, I can see everybody's record. But I don't want to see everybody's record. I want to see records only when such certain situations conditional how do i give conditional access on records which i don't have access to understand that you will have to join the next class and we call that sharing so tell me